Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this Ninja Belgian Waffle Maker Pro. So we've been using this and it works really good. I'm gonna talk about the machine first and then I'm actually gonna make some waffles with it. So it comes with a really nice recipe book. It comes with this, this is a measuring cup. So it's basically, there's a minimum line and a maximum line. The maximum line is a cup and the minimum line is a three fourths of a cup. Very simple to operate, it's got off, it's got a switch off specialty, one, two, three, four, and five. This is the darkness of your waffle. If you want it really dark, go to five. I've been doing mine around three. It's got a green light and a red light. So red light means it's preheating. The green light means it's your waffle is done. And so you're gonna pour your batter in here up at the top. That's a really nice feature. And then to get your waffle out, you're gonna press this button and then this slides down and it's very easy to get your waffle out. I don't I didn't find any of the batter leaked around it. Um, it has a really nice seal Cleanup was very simple too Okay, so it's about 12 inches high and Left to right you're about seven inches But as you can see it folds up relatively small about six inches and the cord is 30 inches long and It's three prong. Here's what the base looks like. It's got uh, four rubber feet 120 volts 60 Hertz 1000 watts so here the manual talks about those different selectors. So light brown to slightly crispy is one to two. Three is golden brown and crispy. Four to five is dark brown and extra crunchy. Specialty is for when you like do different types of batter that have high uh, sugar content. And let's measure the waffle. So it's gonna be about a five and three quarter inch waffle by five and three quarters. Okay, so when you close it, make sure it snaps. We're, I've got my batter already mixed up. Now I just use pancake batter that says just add water, but when you use it for waffles, they want you to add a little bit of vegetable oil. So you add a little bit of vegetable oil. Okay, I got it plugged in. The first thing you're gonna do is turn it to what the desired selection you want. Again, I do three. Now the red light's gonna come on. We don't put the batter in until the green light comes on. And then we're gonna pour the batter in at the top. As soon as we start pouring that batter in at the top, the waffle maker, I guess, kind of cools off on the inside, but it goes to, red again and then when it goes to it'll turn to green that means your waffle is done so i'm going to time how long it takes to preheat this is called preheating so again we can see here this has got a really nice big opening it's got like a ceramic coating that makes cleanup very simple okay so it does beep at you when it switches from red to green that means it's ready to go it took two minutes to preheat now you're simply going to dump your batter in very nice big opening Again, I don't recommend using more than it recommends or it will bubble out. There's the batter. I like that they put the wording right there. So if you lose your cup, it's just a three-fourths to one cup. Now again, I haven't done anything else. The, the light is red, it's cooking the waffle, and now when the waffle is done, it's gonna beep at me and let me know, and that's gonna turn green. That, then I can lower it and take my waffle off. So you do get some steam coming out the top. So it doesn't get super hot, like this is not super hot, but that up there is really hot and that steam's hot, so be careful. The handle's not hot. So we're right about the five minute mark. So two minutes to preheat. It's been cooking now for just over three minutes. Okay, so the green light, it beeped at me. Now I can lower this. There's my waffle. It says to use um, plastic coated tongs to grab it. Now you'll see it's not all the way full. And I could have I could have added just a little bit more batter. And you'll get used to that, kind of knowing exactly how much to add. And now this is ready to go. So I'm gonna close it. Now the light is still green, but as soon as I dump batter in, it's gonna turn red. So start to finish, four minutes for cooking, two minutes for warming up. Okay, so let's let's cook another one. I filled, the, I filled the measuring cup up a little bit higher this time. So you'll get used to, it kind of bubbles up a little bit, so you don't want to get it extremely full, but that's about the right amount. That's going to come out. It, it will, if it does come up a little higher, it still cooks it. It'll just look a little different. Yeah, and see how mine's not completely square. I didn't have enough batter in there. And it kind of... I had to add a little bit of water to the batter to get it to flow a little better. It, it kind of just set up on me a little bit. 
So just by adding that little bit of water and adding a little bit more, now I've got, seems like too much now. But as soon as I added that batter, it, it changed to red. And now it's gonna beep at me and change to green when it's done. So there's the size of waffle. Now that's a really, you know, it's not a super thick waffle, but it's a very filling waffle. Here's how the second one's doing. Yeah, too much batter that time. But I can tell you these waffles taste really, really good. Now three seems to be about the right setting. I like it, now it's done on the inside, but I don't like it super crispy. Um, that seems to be just the right setting for me. Okay, so the second waffle's done. The display changed to green and it beeped at me, so yeah. So even if there is a little bit extra batter, which that looks really weird, it did do a good job cooking the waffle. So let's take it down. Whoops. Yeah, sometimes getting these out can be a little tricky. Yeah, so this part here, I'll cut this off. That's not really part, done part of the waffle. Okay, so let's close it. Let's do uh, one and see how it does. And, and so I really like that Ninja puts these, these ingredient or these um, recipe books and it kind of tells you what setting to use. There's even kind of a diagram that shows you the different settings, which is really nice. These are just really nice features that Ninja adds to their products. Okay, so it seems like, yeah, it's doing a little better job this time. So the wife and I had waffles for supper the other night and one waffle was enough for one person, but we did fix three and we kind of split that last one. Okay, so the one didn't take nearly as long. Let's open it up. Yeah, definitely, definitely a lot lighter. So they've got this dialed in as far as um, the cooking time. Okay, so let's cook one all the way on five. Okay, again, pour the batter in. Nice big opening, I like that. And you're gonna see cleanup is very simple. And again, as soon as I put the batter in, the light changed to red and it'll turn the green when it's done. Okay, so here we have, um, again, it's got that top part. This was on the one setting. That's not gonna be done, but you can cut that off. But here's, you know, it, it definitely, the inside's a little doughy, but not too bad. It's very hot, be careful. Um, yeah, that's probably a setting I might try sometime too. So yeah, this one's really boiling up. Okay, so five took longer. Let's open it up. Yep, definitely darker. So let's do, that waffle's about 260 degrees, 270 degrees. Let's go ahead and get it out. Yeah, it's definitely crispy. It can be a little tricky getting out. Yeah, there's definitely, that is definitely crispy. I don't necessarily like them like that, but it did a good job. And there's what the waffle looks like. So I like how if you want to divide this into fours, there's kind of a spot there that makes it very easy to cut. Now let's go over cleanup. That's, this is, you gotta let that cool. That is really hot right now. So close it, turn this all the way to off, and it does take a little while for it to cool down. Now if you open this up, it will cool down faster. That's like a ceramic coating or something because nothing sticks to it. I mean, um, I just kind of brushed it off now it does say you are to apply a little bit of, of vegetable oil to it, just a little bit of canola oil with a brush. Um, and you can wipe it off with a damp cloth. I never, I didn't have to use a damp cloth or anything. That Whatever crumbs were in there, they just brush right off after it's cool. So I left the stopwatch going just to kind of, you could, you could time it, see how long each one took. So this waffle maker, maker is very simple to use. I mean, you'll, you'll learn kind of how to get to use the right amount of of, um, of mix to get rid of that, but it's very simple to use. So I really owe it to a viewer that kept asking me to review waffle makers, and I didn't think much of waffle makers. Um, I did one, and um, it was kind of fun. It was like a little dash waffle maker, but then Ninja released one. I'm like, oh boy, when when Ninja releases a waffle maker, it's probably going to be pretty cool. And it is, it does not disappoint. I'm super excited about it. 
I just really, uh, I do like Ninja products and I'm, I'm starting to buy more of them. I've even talked about, uh, right now it's September. I, I even talked about making October Ninja month. Like uh, there's probably four or five more Ninja kitchen products that I need to buy. They just really are cool products. And I think the main thing I like about this one is the top fill, not taking up much space. It's quick and cleanup is super easy. So again, thank you to viewers that leave comments on what to review next. I would have never have dreamed to got, get into waffle makers, but it's been really fun. I really appreciate everybody's support. I know this is a little different from coffee, but you know, uh, waffles are really good with coffee. I still have lots of exciting videos with coffee makers coming out. And then I'm also doing um, air fryers and also indoor grills. So Ninja's makes Ninja's making about five or six indoor grills. I've got three of them. Uh, they got a new one coming out, so I'll be doing reviews on those. And the indoor grills have really surprised me. Um, I haven't grilled out this. I've got a, an outdoor Weber grill. I haven't used it this summer, and I've only been using these indoor grills, and I'm, I've been really, really surprised by how well they're doing. So thanks, everybody, for your support. And if you could, please like and subscribe.